Hello, everyone. This is Chrisom, and I'd like to uh, invite you to another conversation about your Kundalini awakening experience. And once again, I'm in Brasiliand, in uh, uh, north central France, in the Breton area. And uh, I am in the area that is uh, uh, associated with the Arthur legends, the legends of King Arthur, Guinevere, Lancelot and the, the quest for the discovery of the Holy Grail. Uh, this is a very real subject in this part of France. Uh, uh, as, uh, as many people believe in it, as disbelieve in it, but there, it's a very real uh, uh, reality here. In addition to the Grail quest are also uh, um, experiences that <clears throat> people have had with fairies, and with elves and with, you know, many of the little people that, that are cross-cultural in their appearance uh, throughout, throughout the globe. Um, uh, so within that context, I would like to talk about Merlin and how uh, Merlin, who is born and who is of a, uh, of a very uh, spiritual Type of quality. He, he is this central figure. And uh, the Lady Vivian, I, I believe that is her name, she is also a central figure, which kind of starts to point to a sacred male and a sacred female. And uh, within that context, we begin to see the play of Kundalini in this region. As I discussed in an earlier video, the, the, the Holy Grail is us. We are the Holy Grail, the walking, talking Holy Grails. Um, in some of the alchemical uh, understandings, uh, it wasn't turning lead into gold as much as it was turning the matter of the body into gold, which is a, is a, is a, uh, a direct reference to the Kundalini uh, as it awakens and turns the, the energy field of the person into gold, into a golden head, so to speak. And if you look at uh, some of the 16th century paintings by Nicolas Flamel, uh, he actually draws and paints uh, pictures of people having dismemberments and, or, you know, the, the golden head of, a, of an awakened kundalini individual. Uh, Merlin was this central sorcerer slash magician slash uh, uh, person with, with great abilities and great powers uh, that he would use to help people such as, you know, such as King Arthur. He takes King Arthur as a child and he teaches him in the ways of the world just as, as we discover the ways of the world when we begin our refinement with the kundalini. The Kundalini teaches us how to go to certain areas or, or how to respond within certain scenarios. We are taught the, the correct path, the incorrect path for, <clears throat> for finding a certain level of enlightenment within us. And so in a way, the, the sacred uh, genders of sacred male, sacred female within the Kundalini begin to teach the Kundalini child about certain levels of refinement that it must achieve in order to assist and open the body for the wedding of the sacred male and female. Here on the top of the head, the crown chakra, uh, using the crown as a, as a way of symbolizing, you know, the crown of King Arthur and, and the Knights of the Round Table. So look and, and access the inner Merlin that is within you, that drive to refine, that, that desire to seek a higher level of being. <clears throat> Sometimes you may wonder, it's like, why do I, why do I constantly need to, to, to find higher spiritual uh, uh, access points for myself? Well, I will suggest this is why. You want to find those higher spiritual access points so that your soul can evolve into higher areas, so that your, uh, your golden head 
uh, becomes manifest to you, that your grail becomes manifest to you. So listen to your inner Merlin, your inner Merlina, you know, the male and the female within you, and discover that aspect and know that you are on that grail quest. Thanks for watching.